Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the new and updated mods that were released today for all platforms. We have 47 new and 11 updates. For console only, we have one new, which is already out on PC. And for PC and Mac players, we got three new and four updates. This video will be showing you all of the new tools and placeables that were released for all platforms, in addition to all of the updates and as well as the PC mods. Make sure you guys check out part one, which showed off all the new maps and new equipment that will be linked in the first pinned comment below. First up today, we we got a plethora of combine harvester headers. These are meant for the STS series combines and other things as well. Five of them that we've got a 6 meter, 6.6, 7.6, 9.1, and a 10.6 meter header pack. As far as with these, we've got a couple different things. We can throw the air reel on there if you would like. And then we also have configurations for soybeans and for standard. Next, we got a big old set of combine or cultivators. Sorry, man, this is a long day. I'm so done already. Uh, big cultivators right here. Choose what you need to. Uh, I don't know, man. They're, they're raw smash comp or cultivators. See, I said it again. Next is the subsoiler, the PCH 4.5. This bad boy right here requires 200 horsepower, 4.5 meter work with six miles an hour. Oh yeah, main colors, you got some colors, design colors, you got some colors, rim color, we got some colors. That's all the colors, isn't it? We also have the Lizard GTCR pack. These are going to be some new plows for everybody. Four meter working with version and a 2.6 meter working with version. With these, you've got different wheel setups, which is very cool to see. Continental are actually semi-truck wheels, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but these things are pretty large as well. we got different decals, designs, uh, main color. We've got quite a few different ones there. Design, design, design and rim colors. Next is a cultivator. This is the Cavernal Qualidisc Pharma 3000. This is a very, very nice uh, three meter, 100 horsepower, 10 mile per hour working with cultivator. One of the nice things as well is you can change up the colors on it as well. I will tell you, Cavernal gets a pass, but hey, the modder did a great job making it available for everybody. Next is the Unio Cultivator 2.2. It is a 2.2 meter cultivator. Requires 18 horsepower and eight mile per hour. It does weigh half a ton, so it's a little bit heavy, but not too bad if you got a small thing well this will work next up we got something that is something that's not in its name the seven time chisel plow this is a cultivator <laughs> 60 horsepower, two meter work with seven miles per hour. Next up, the Nardi Trailed Plow. These are for Pepe 978. We were going to talk about these at Farm Sim News earlier today, but hey, they are out now. They're actually very large plows compared to their size. Only a one meter working with there and a 1.3 meter working with here. However, they are absolutely massive and they require a bit of horsepower as well. We've got some nice colors. And the Cavernland Optima V Custom. This bad boy right here is basically a Cavernland Optima V. So what's the difference? Rim and main color configurations. So there you go. You can change up the colors just enough to make a difference. The Lizard Turner. This is a pretty neat one. So this goes on the front or back of your tractor, but probably just put it on the front. And then it will actually turn with you. So you could place this down at the end of a hedgerow and then it'll turn your whole tractor around. It's kind of like a trike, but with the wheel facing the wrong way really really cool got a couple different wheel options right here nothing too crazy on it but it is nice to see plus we have every single color option that you could ask for we also have the lizard modular trailer it's about to say the johnson brothers trailer because well that's what it is it's just got some logos taken off of it uh this it'll do a, a trailer low or high attachment nothing visually changes Titch belts we've got eu us or anata wheel setups a couple different things here but they are not different enough for Really, for it to matter. Main color, you could change that up as well. And then we have things like modules that go along with it. So we've got a forestry module. We've got a bill module. And we have a livestock module as well. The livestock module will do nine cattle, 16 pigs, and 12 sheep. Next up, the Fliega Low Loader Pack. We've got, uh, I believe it was uh, five trailers in here. Yep, they're all just a little bit different. A couple of them have normal hitches. However, we do have one that's got a semi-trailer hitch on there as well. Side guards, nada, nada, nada. You've got some side marker lights, beacons, loading security, basically automatic or tension belt, do tension belt. Uh, and then wheel setups, you've got a couple different ones of those. Main color, side guards, rim color configurations. The car trailer's back. This is the wooden car trailer. It's going to be found in bump trailers. It's, I don't really know what to say about this. It is what it is. It only is what it is. You can change up a couple different colors. They are not normal ones. They are a custom color set. But you know what? I like it. Next up, the Fleagle be or Blade. I keep saying Bell Blade Roller. Uh, well, this is Knife Roller. Uh, either way, the SWC... Z. Do I have the wrong one? Nope, that's it. Uh, it's a roller. Cool. We also have a Clark fuel tank. This will hold 990 liters of fuel only. Uh, weighs half a ton by itself. 
You've got additional storage and electric pump on the side, which is kind of cool. And then we've got main colors, which can be changed up. It's going to be around your handle. This is mainly for doing logging stuff or picking things up um, with like a forge uh, or, or forestry piece of equipment. It's kind of neat, to be honest with you. Your next to last piece of equipment tool thing is going to be self-made weight. This bad boy is self-made and it is a weight 450 kilograms, zero customization. And your last thing is going to be liftable pallets with stones. A stone pallet, perfect for turning stones into lime. Yeah, so it's... It's actually a pallet full of rocks, which is kind of neat. Uh, it's also liftable, they say, so you should be able to pick these up without any problems. Now, we got more placeables today than I can shake a stick at. I, just with the time that I've got to make these videos, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to show everything off. But nonetheless, uh, I will tell you that we've got things like the warehouse. This is pretty epic. We've also got the extra large workshop. Again, something else very, very large. We've got the British Bell Sheds. It's just a normal British shed, but it looks really, really good. Looks like old uh, things from like Farm Sim 17. Really cool and 15 even. We also have some nice machine sheds for you guys. Meridian 16 XXL silos. You know what's good when it's got XXL in it? Yeah. Uh, going on, we have Animal Food Factories. These are going to be some factories for animal feed for you guys that's cool uh from pixel farm big shout out to him i hate that this came out on a day where i've got to literally leave before this model be even coming i gotta go uh this is cool this is very nice you need to get that we have a polish house of course we do doesn't look like you can go inside so there is that and a medium house um, basically exactly the same can't do anything with those or go in anything uh, it is unfortunate would be nice to see what's inside who knows? Next is the industrial BGA. This is from Disturb Simulations. He said, uh, it's going to be my new favorite BGA. So I cannot wait to poke it to poke in and check it out. We also have the small Orme garage. This is a garage from uh, Precision Farming DLC. I think from Farming Simulator 19, maybe? Oh, anyway, well, uh, it does look very, very good, and it does have an RTK station in it. We've also got a generator for you. This is the gas station with daily income. We got two of these. We got a small one and a large one. Basically, it's kind of like you're selling propane. This is kind of cool. We also got the water box BR. This bad boy right here is going to be a water tank for your farm. Um, it, it's free. That's great. We also have a very nice fuel tank. Looks absolutely amazing. Uh, it's got a 10,000 10, liter capacity. Perfect for any farm that you want to put this on. It's going to cost you five grand. The grass dryer has also been released from Zodal Zoct. Uh, this includes a grass dryer, which dries grass into hay. Uh, bales of grass can be also delivered. It's got a capacity of what looks to be a, uh, like 10 million or... One million liter of each, it's, it's just absolutely massive. And lastly, let's show off the placeable wooden dog house. The placeable wooden dog house that has a dog in it, and it is wooden, and it is placeable. There you go. Now, we do have a plethora of new updates for... <laughs> New updates for all platforms. First one is going to be Maple Farm from Cavalier Roy. is going to be changed on 1 1. Manure heaps now fixed, made purchasable with the land. Flicks of floating tree in the lake now fixed, made some terrain modifications and precision farming ready. Ooh. And the Irmo Pack's got an update. It's going to be version 1.2 and a new model, the Irmo Hurricane. Speaking of hurricanes, here comes a hurricane with the Massey Ferguson 76, 77, 87 series. Version 1.1, new store item has been added, the 8700. We got a couple of these, but it's nice to see another one. Also, Dyna 6. Dyna VT transmissions have been added. Front PTO options been added to the front hydraulic. Added the front loader option. And new sound details. Tire options been adjusted. Color options been adjusted. Optional wheel weights been fitted partially. Brand decals. Dirt textures been changed. Various bugs have been fixed. We also have an update to the John Deere 437D loader. It's going to be version 1.1. Added tension belt support and improved the stability of the trailer. Import it! If you load your save game while the trailer is unfolded, you currently need to fold and unfold it again. Otherwise, the trailer will be unstable. Stable, so do it. Vertex Design have updated the Randaburger HTS 11 DO4 spreaders. Going to be version 1.0.1. Fix the uploading, unloading, yeah, unloading of lime not being possible. Also added AI agent and see attacher height to foam 0.6. Hey yo, Loma's got an update. It's the Loma ZDK1802. Man, I'm losing my mind. Version 1.1 added license plates to fix the AI unloading on the Loma Combi. We also have an update to the Agrimas POH5. It's going to be version 1.0. 
Note 1 added the lower ling ball and the color of some bolts have been changed. How's about a good update? Yeah, from uh, uh, Nicholas, <laughs> the shooter maker, C1720. I tried, man. Version 1.1, new power takeoffs, the PTO, baby. You also got new tires, new hubs, and reflectors. Back over to Disturb Simulations again. What up, dude? He has updated his mini biogas plant to version 1.1. Electricity and methane can now be stored, distributed, or sold. Edited the silage and straw production recipes to generate more methane. Added a version of the mini BGA with an electricity charging point and methane filling point. Also added a small electricity charging and methane filling point to use the scent, uh, the electricity and or methane to the BGA to distributing. They also added a large electrically charging AMD methane filling point. Goodness gracious, to use the set of electricity and or methane in the BGA to distributing. This could also be stored 1 million liters of electricity. Liters? Of electric? You know what I mean. Uh, and methane for the future selling and distributing of generators and the modular BGA. How cool is that? The old barn's got an update version 1.1 and adds snow and corrected to textures. And lastly, from our buddy Schultz Monning, we have an update to the selling everything's going to be version 1.001 added support for production mods. Now, as we said earlier, we do have one mod that's going to be for consoles new, but it has uh, been on PC for a little while now. It's a variable vine width. So this is a great vine. It's a variable width spacing between rows. So the 1.8, 2 meter, 2.15, 2.3, and 2.5 recommended width is 2.15 to 2.3. This is very, very nice to have it. I highly recommend if you're doing vineyards, you really need this mod. Now we do have some new ones for PC and Mac players. The first one is the Tomb HKL 2500. This is a new seeder for you guys. Holds 900 liters of seed at 1,350 liters of fertilizer, 70 horsepower required, three meter working width. Follow me mod is here. Now this is a mod that I have never really messed with. So just a heads up, really don't know how about this. All I know is you can make people follow you around. This is for single player on PC only. For those of you guys that know this mod very well, you'll be very excited to see this. You probably already know how to use it. But nonetheless, go check this out if you're interested. Follow me. Have people follow you around. And your last new one for PC and Mac players today is going to be the fill level warning for Forge Wagons. This bad boy right here with the fill level of the Forge Wagon reaches 80% of the Forge Wagon is full of signal sound. A text message will occur in addition. Silage activities get emptied. Also signal sound and a text message will occur. Now, updates for PC and Mac players include the following. The Johnson Brothers module of trailer is going to be version 101. One added tension belt configuration, none E, U, and N, A. We also have an update version 1.1 to the Linear Unitrack platform auto loads. Going to be updated description version. Added two more tension belts. Fix the bulk loading and non AL configuration. Remove the configuration option for automatic manual tension belts as it is now a function in Farming Simulator 22 Pallet Auto Loader version 1.7.1. It's advised to sell and rebuy all existing AL platforms to prevent errors occurring. Automatic tension belts, uh, if disabled, can be enabled using. Key assignments to find it for me. Simulator 22 does a ballot all load loader. Yeah. Also added configuration option for belt loading support on and off. Okay. Two more to go. The net wrap add on. This is going to be version 1.4.1 at compatibility with update 1.4.1. Duh. Also add compatibility with production point. Yeah. The, uh, the twine right here. Yeah. It's exactly the same. And that's it. I'm on the home screen because I'm just. So done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the Go Ham fam. Make sure notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. My goodness. We already released update or uh, update version patch uh, part one of this video. So go check that out. Uh, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a meeting this afternoon. So I'm like trying to rush through these videos as quick as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely check out part one. It's probably got what 90% of you guys are looking for. If you watched all the way through this one, I don't know. Hey, anyway, we'll see you guys later. Peace.